The information that people get about nutrition is influenced by the economic forces that run this country. When you talk about protein and people worry about where they get their protein from, they're thinking about getting protein from animal foods. Yeah. That's what it means to them. It's a myth that you have to eat animal foods in order to get enough protein. It's a myth that more protein is needed. The misinformation out there is just, just huge. Huge. To dramatically extend human lifespan, you don't want to speed up your metabolism. Speeding up your metabolism means you're, you're raising the rate at which you're aging. you got a whole industry that's trying very hard to make sure you get stuck on foods. We're a society that is overfed and undernourished. I think the dietitians and the doctors are, are getting caught, uh, not doing what they're supposed to do, which is to take care of the welfare of the patients. We now know that the healthy foods are for new food groups, vegetables, fruits, whole grains, and legumes. Spinach or kale, it's around 45% protein. You have a big enough salad, that's quite a lot of protein. I want you to have bok choy, Swiss chard, kale, collards, collard green, beet greens, mustard green, turnip greens, napa cabbage, brussels sprouts, broccoli, cauliflower, cilantro, parsley, spinach, and arugula. If you can provide enjoyable plant-based food, you're helping the environment, the people, and the animals. No one can say that a starch-based diet with fruits and vegetables is deficient in protein or amino acids or calcium. If we made sugar, meat, dairy, if we truly priced them and let the free market determine what they're worth, our health problem would be gone. It all starts with information, education information. We need what nature put in real food. There is no rocket science mystery magic here. Health results from healthful living. My name is Juliana Hever, and I'm also called the Plant-Based Dietitian. Our goal is to kind of get up as much information as we can in a fun, easy to digest way where people can just see how easy it is to go veg and plant-based, why you need to go plant-based, why you need to eat as close to nature as possible. We're going to travel across America and check in with the biggest names in the plant-based world. The Plant-Based Dietitian, on a mission to save the world. Plant-based dietitian on a mission to save the world. She's got our dreams, we got our seeds to sow. And in her garden.